I'm 77. My stroke was over 20 years ago, and I'm still making improvements. So all this thing I see about, oh, you never improve after the first year, they've never had a stroke, obviously, because <laughs> no one rational would write that. This episode is, is my life over with stroke? The answer is probably your old life is partially over, at least, yes. But the more you accept an opportunity to make a new life, no. Use me as an example. I was at the relatively top of the world. I'm an example of someone who sort of has had to recreate myself. And that's the reality we all have to face. Recreating the new you. By the way, subscribe and hit the notification bell. It doesn't cost anything. And not only you will receive notifications when I release new videos, you will have access to all the videos I have produced. Now to episode 19. Okay. Let me give you the, for me, the priorities I see in order after your stroke. First priority. Do what you have to do to get better. There's nothing, nothing more important than start process of improvement right now there's no waiting with stroke four years three years to lie about and feel sorry for yourself and then after four, three or four years you'll find your body and mind atrophied to such a point at which you can't dig out so the first mission is to get better. And especially that's true for the first months to a year. And I know it's easy to say, but believe me, start the process. And I'm not saying you have to do exercises the day of the, after the stroke. I'm saying just progressively progress a little accomplishment very little it might be just lifting up a finger work at that finger lifting but do something small positive every day number two control the damage to your personal life I've made a video entirely about, for instance, marriage and stroke. Believe me, it makes it much easier if you're able at all not to make it worse. <laughs> so there's hints and suggestions in that part of the uh, in that episode. Three, control the damage to your professional life. Um, I used to be, as I said in my first couple of videos, 
a reasonably articulate <laughs> and reasonably motivated and reasonably organized and all kinds of good things person in terms of my profession and then to be suddenly not able to do anything, not able to think, not even able to speak. So therefore, for instance, use this as an example, and I give many examples in my first two videos. Say like you're at a, at a business meeting, and normally you speak at a certain point, do anything not to speak, not to let on how badly damage your abilities are. They will improve with time. You'll get your senses back. Uh, should, you should. I mean, there's a good chance of getting them back. And don't stop the process by letting the others know how wounded you are and then they react and let you go or put you on disability or whatever. Anyway, And if it's necessary, I, I took a break uh, six months before I came back part-time. And that six months enabled me first to work on getting better intensively. I worked, at, at, my entire day was spent improving, uh, well, trying to pr improve. And... Uh, uh, if I had come back after, for instance, three months and did something, a lesser job, I would not have time to improve. Four. Emphasize and use whatever you love to do to recreate the new you. If you have had a full-on stroke, it is highly unlikely you will be 100% as before. You never will be the old you. But use what was good from the old you as best you can recall it or recreate it and add new things that are good about the new you. Maybe it will be better from a spiritual or general goodness aspect. It's rarely going to be better from an overall physical performance. And in terms of losing individual physical skills, for instance, in my case, as I gave and made a point in an episode just previous, uh, about ice skating. I used to be a good skater. Not great, but, you know, good. And I loved to do ice skating. And I worked at recreating. I'm starting to recreate my little ice skating skills. I look like a three-year-old on ice, but I'm not giving up. I went... Uh, uh, last week, and I looked like a three-year-old in six months. So there's still a chance to improve, and I'm still doing it. I'm 77. My stroke was over 20 years ago, and I'm still making improvements. So all this thing I see about, oh, you never improve after the first year, they've never had a stroke, obviously, because... <laughs> No one rational would write that uh, who has experience. So in terms of ice skating, okay, I'm making small improvements. Playing golf, I play golf better than before my stroke because at that time, I was never a good golfer. I didn't have time, didn't have whatever, experience, the money, whatever. And uh, now I'm, I'm playing golf because I have the time to study how to do it and I play every week. 
Um, I'm getting very good at it. Well, reasonably good, but a thousand times better than before. Yeah, I don't have the quite the rhythm, but in the old days, I used my ryth uh, rhythm sometimes incorrectly in the swing. So anyway, I do both more because I love to do them. And it's very good for you emotionally to have something you do well. And if you find anything you can do better than before, or with training you can do better with than before, do it because that's very positive for your mind and spirit. You know, it's a reality that will hit in the first hours to two months after the stroke. You're in deep doo-doo. When you realize that this is not like other illnesses you have had. No, 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 no. This is affecting the body and the mind. And its effects are devastating. It's not just getting, you know, oh, I have a broken leg and then it heals and better than before. No, this is a different world. And unless a person has had a stroke, they don't realize how devastating it is. When a doctor friend said to me a couple of weeks after the stroke, she whispered it in my ear. Um, there's no magic potion because I was, you know, asking her, hey, what various possibilities do I have? I was thinking and there was something like a, something, a serum. <laughs> I didn't know about stroke. Like everyone who did, has had a stroke, no one thinks about it. Um, once it happens, it happens. And doctors are practically as helpless as the stroke survivor. There, there is a point where this reality hits with full force. That you're in deep excrement. That was my moment. I felt and long recovery and a lot of work was facing me. And you know what? It did. Once you have, have accepted to start working on the new you, you have had passed a major milestone in the stroke recovery process. So I'll leave you now and again, I wish you the best recovery possible. Thank you.